So in our previous video we created this effect and if you haven't watched it I suggest you should watch that video first because this is the second part of that video. So in this video we're gonna make an effect like this. Anyways, let's have an overview of our previous node setup. So there are two texture nodes, the wave texture and the noise texture. These are the noise texture values and it's connected to a gradient texture. The gradient type is set to radial. This is the wave texture with the following values. Both these textures have a single mapping node input with the X and Y location values to minus 0.5. This mapping node has a UV input from the texture coordinates. Further added with color ramps, this is how the both textures look. Both these textures are then mixed with a mix node with the noise texture into the A input and the wave texture into the B input. Now add another mix node and plug the first mix node into the B input and the A input should be a complete black. Now add a gradient texture, a color ramp and duplicate this mapping node. Connect this mapping node to the generated output and the gradient texture change to quadratic sphere. Now this output of the color ramp goes into the factor of the mix node and the mix node goes into the alpha input of the principal BSDF. For the animation, I added a value node to the W input of the noise texture and in the wave texture, there is an invert node, a multiply node and then it goes into the phase offset. This value node has a driver that is hashtag frame divided by 100. So first of all, if we change the blending mode of this mix node from mix to subtract and we interchange these A and B values, plug the wave input into the A value and the noise texture into the B value, we get these results. But in the finder render, the color of these waves changes with time. For that, add a hue saturation and value node, copy the color of the wave and then connect it to the emission color input. Now this hue value can be used to change the colors, connect the value node to the hue input. Now add a driver, hashtag frame divided by 50. Now when we play, the colors are changing but it's too fast. So let's change it to hashtag frame divided by 200 to have a gradual change of colors. You can also add a driver directly in the hue section but I like it more with the value node. Anyways, we need some displacement on, on the mesh. First we need to subdivide this mesh three times. Now go to the modifiers, add a subdivision surface modifier with two levels and then add a wave modifier. You can change these values like the height, width and the narrowing etc. Now let's duplicate this mesh and copy the material. And instead of this noise texture, if we use a magic texture, the results are gonna be a little different. Or if we mix these two textures and increase the scale of the magic texture to 15, we get something like this. Now let's duplicate this plane again, copy the material and let's delete the HSV node because we don't need the changing colors this time. Actually end this emission strength and saturation, we, need the, we don't need the emission. Make the base color white and the roughness to zero, metallic to 100%. Add a color ramp because we need some more prominent effect here. And instead of this noise texture, if we add a Voronoi texture to the gradient, scale to 20 and change the randomness to zero and plug this distance value to the color ramp and maybe we need a little adjustments to the color ramp let's preview this effect now
what if we add a bump node and plug the subtract node output into this height and then connect the normal to the normal. Maybe we need a little roughness. Oh, it looks like metal pipes being generated. Let's duplicate this principal BSTF, take the metallic to zero and give it a greenish color. Take the transmission to 100%. Now it looks like green waters with ripples in it. What if we mix it with the above node? It looks like pipes in the water. These bars are showing, so plug this. So plug this color ramp to the factor input. And that's all for today's video, and I'll see you next time.